it's a really hard one to answer as to why we, we would do this. Why take the risk? Why spend so much time and money and effort? I think there is a, there is a sense of satisfaction from realising what you can go through, what you can overcome. I'm Alex Stanniforth, I'm 21, I live in Kelso near Cheshire and I'm an endurance adventurer, ambassador, author and inspirational speaker. My journey's really been about overcoming, adver over overcoming adversity and trying to use that story to make a difference. At nine years old I was diagnosed with a malform of epilepsy and that stole my confidence, my self-esteem. And to throw in things like that, I had a stammer, which I still deal with, deal with today. Relentlessly bullied throughout my entire time at school. When I was about 13, I decided to try paragliding. Up there, hanging 7,000 feet in the air, I kind of realized the first time that I could achieve something. I could overcome anything and so from then on I just wanted to find what I could overcome next. I guess the Everest dream started at 14 and I never imagined that four years later I'd have been standing at Everest base camp itself. So in 2014 at 18 years old I made my first attempt on the mountain. The day before we got to base camp uh, our team were in Lobache when there was a massive avalanche in the Cumbu Icefall and sadly 16 climbers Sherpas tragically died in what was the biggest disaster in Everest history at the time. And so after then the situation got quite quickly out of hand and we had to pack up and go home without even stepping a single foot on the mountain. So I went back to Everest, age 19, in 2015, feeling stronger than I ever had been before. And everything started well. But we started climbing up the mountain for the first time. Finally started starting to make progress and actually climbing to Camp 1. So, for the first time in the expedition, we're finally touching the snow line. Of course there's been a bit of snow at base camp but uh, this is the real deal. But the day that we did move to Camp 1 for our first rotation happened to be the day that the Nepal earthquake struck. Hello Tim, is Alex, over. And I still don't remember that day being in the icefall, nearing Camp 1, about 6,000 metres, when I heard this huge crack. From then on it was a, a pretty horrific experience. I mean, we were trapped on the mountain for two days. Every half an hour you've got aftershocks chucking snow at you from both sides. But actually when we got down to base camp two days later, we realized that actually we'd been in the safest place of all. Base camp was wiped out. Our home on the mountain had gone. Had our team been at base camp, most of us wouldn't have, well, well, well most of us wouldn't be here now. We lost three of our team down at base camp and 22 people died. Sometimes I think the biggest risk can be taking no risk at all. I mean, yes, it put me off, but the rest of me just made me realise that I've got to live every day to my best potential. And if I'm still here, to use that time to make a difference to other people, 
inspiring them through the story. Well, after Everest, I needed to change my direction a bit. I wanted to do something closer to home. So, Climb the UK, my next project, starting this May, uh, is climbing to the highest point of every UK county in one push. Highest point, Cheshire, my home county. And this will be the first of my 100 counties to climb the UK. I just hope to not all this with me. So a continuous journey, mostly human powered, running, walking, cycling, even kayaking, just whatever I need to. I think this one for me I want is about fundraising for mental health as well, the charity Young Minds UK. Mental health is something that affects me, has affected me for a long time, um, anxiety and depression in particular. And, and so with that, I want to send out the message that actually, this isn't a sign of weakness, it affects everybody. And I'll be using ViewRanger to track the whole route and that means the route will be open to anybody. By getting people engaged, it gives people who also have mental health challenges the chance to come out and, and find their Everest in life. And so this is a combination of everything what's good about adventure, giving people the chance to be part of it. Adventure is different for everybody. You know, it doesn't have to be Everest, it can be walking in the park, it can be riding a bike, it can be skydiving, I don't know, I mean... It's about finding your own purpose and passion in life. For me, it's an, it's an escape from everyday life. With a stammer, with depression, with various issues, it's a, it's a, a tonic for that. Without adventure without seeing things from a different perspective, getting outside, getting fresh air, getting soaking wet, getting freezing cold, getting scared. You don't really appreciate life as much as you could do.